Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to compare Microsoft 365 versus Google Workspace and discover which one is better. My name's Teddy and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro fast. Let's get started. In the past, it would be near unimaginable for a business not to choose Microsoft Office when looking for an office suite. After all, for many years, Microsoft's business model was centered around selling Microsoft Office and this largely went unchallenged. Times have changed, however, and now there's a serious contender steadily becoming more of a challenge to Microsoft Office's dominance. This is none other than Google Workspace, formerly known as G Suite. In this video, I break down all the aspects that would lead you to choose one office suite over the other and find out which suite of services really is the best. Just for the fun of it, I'll also be keeping score so that we can declare an actual winner in the end. Category 1. Features and Availability if you don't really care to distinguish between the details of the features for each productivity suite, the differences may seem negligible. Both suites are subscription based and charged per person on a monthly basis, with prices depending on the features that businesses want to achieve their specific goals. If you ask the average user what they think the most stark difference is, most of them would say that Microsoft Office is largely pre-packaged software while Google Workspace is online and cloud-based. Even though each of them are these, both suites actually offer hybrid capabilities. Microsoft Office, despite the fact that most people use it in an offline capacity, is also available on the cloud. In contrast, even though Google Workspace is largely associated with being used online, there's also the option of working offline. Perhaps the biggest advantage that Google Workspace has over Microsoft 365 is that it has no constraints when it comes to operating system availability. Because it's primarily web-based and can be accessed through any OS as long as that system can access a browser, especially Chrome, even though Microsoft 365 is available on any OS, accessing it on Mac OS, iOS, and Android is not always easy and quick to set up. Because of this, Google Workspace gets the point. Microsoft 365, zero, Google Workspace, one. Category two, inclusions. Another important point of comparison is what's actually included with each plan for both office suites. Here's the detailed breakdown. Google Workspace. Google Workspace comes with an incredible number of services. This include the following. Google Meet for video and voice conferencing. Gmail, calendars, secured messaging, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Keep, Forms, Sites, 30 gigabytes minimum storage on Google Drive, and administrative tools. Despite the fact that 30 gigabytes is the minimum for Drive, higher plans can actually provide up to 5 terabytes of storage per user, included in Microsoft 365. Microsoft 365 plans also come with a suite of cloud-based services as well as the Office desktop apps themselves. Combined, this is what's included for all Microsoft 365 plans. Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Access, Publisher, Visio, HD conferencing, online meetings through Skype and Microsoft Teams live events, Microsoft Teams, one terabyte of storage per user through OneDrive, and administrative tools. Not to mention that storage, features, and services such as Microsoft Planner, My Analytics, Power BI Pro, Yammer, and Power Automate are also available for higher level plans. Because of the incredible number of services Microsoft 365 offers with their plans, Microsoft gets the point for this category. Microsoft 365 1, Google Workspace 1. Category number 3, Plans and Pricing. Of course, this comparison wouldn't be complete without actually looking at the price plans of both office suites. For this category, I break down these plans according to entry level plans, business level plans, and enterprise level plans. Entry level. Entry level plans are those that are used by individual users for rather meager tasks. Here are the entry level plans for both Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace. The pricing we discuss here is on a per user slash per month basis. Microsoft 365. Microsoft 365 starts with a business basic plan which only goes for $5 per month. 
With this subscription, users will get a business email, one terabyte of storage through OneDrive for business, PowerPoint, Outlook, Word, Excel for web. Note that the only downside to this particular plan is that the desktop version for PowerPoint, Outlook, Word, and Excel is not included, and the cloud-based versions are slower and more limited in their capabilities. Microsoft Business Standard is also an entry-level plan for users that require a higher level of functionality. This plan only comes in at $12.50 and comes with all the features from the basic plan as well as the accompanying desktop apps. This plan also includes Outlook Customer Manager and Microsoft Invoicing. Google Workspace Google Workspace Business Starter is the most affordable plan for Google Workspaces and starts at only $6. This plan includes Gmail, complete with a custom domain, as well as the full suite of web-based productivity apps. Each user will have 30 gigabytes of storage for Drive and Gmail, and video meetings are capped at 100 participants. Another entry-level plan for Google Workspaces is Google Workspace Business Standard. Unlike Business Starter, users will have two terabytes of storage each and video meetings will be able to accommodate 150 participants. Users will also get access to team drives. The Business Standard plan starts at only $12. Business Level. Here are the medium business level plans for both Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace. Microsoft 365. Microsoft 365 has a mid-level business premium plan that's available at $20 per month. All of the desktop apps and cloud services in the business standard plan naturally are included. A great addition to the suite of services with this plan is Microsoft Intune, management and deployment tools, as well as advanced threat protection, Google Workspace. On the mid-level, Google Workspaces offers the Business Premium Plan. With this plan, users get e-discovery as well as archiving with their email and each user will have storage space of 5 terabytes. Participants in meetings can go up to 250 members and users will be able to share documents with team drives. This plan is $18 per month. Enterprise Level Microsoft 365 the highest level plan for Microsoft 365 is the Office 365 Enterprise E5. This is Microsoft 365 at its absolute best. Not only are all apps included, additional security features such as Microsoft Defender for Office 365, Office 365 Cloud App Security and eDiscovery are also included. This plan can be purchased for $35 per month. Google Workspace, the absolute best plan that Google Workspace offers is Google Workspace Enterprise. All services are included with this plan and just like the Enterprise plan of Microsoft 365, this comes with enhanced security capabilities. A higher encryption, S MIME is provided. Not only that, but businesses will be able to use AppSheet, a no-code solution for teams to build apps. Because of the greater availability for services and lower pricing at nearly all levels, Google Workspace gets the point for this category. Microsoft 365 1 Google Workspace 2. Category number four, an app by app comparison, the final category for us to determine which office suite truly reigns supreme is to actually take a look at the key apps that comprise both Google Workspace and Microsoft 365 and determine which ones are easier to use and provide the most value. Google Doc versus Microsoft Word. Word processing is highly important for companies, so naturally this would be our first point of comparison for the two Office Suites trademark apps. When it comes to collaboration between teams, Google Docs is far better since it's cloud-based and you don't have to send the actual documents to the person you are collaborating with. You only need to send a link with the necessary permissions. This does not mean Microsoft Word does not have its advantages. As a matter of fact, the range of features that Word has is just far more robust than what Google Docs can offer. Word has a lot of preset templates that allow users to create whatever text-based document they can imagine, whether it's resumes, reports, letters, and more. Sheets versus Excel. Once again, 
The battle of the spreadsheets is much like the battle of the word processors, a matter of collaboration versus features. Just like Google Docs, Google Sheets is great for remote teams, but for teams that want the best possible features and templates, Excel is the ideal choice. Gmail versus Outlook. If you value a clean, easy to use interface that's very easy to use, well, there's a reason why Gmail is the most popular email service provider in the world by leaps and bounds. Outlook, in typical Microsoft fashion, has very powerful software and impressive features, however, and has been improving its ease of use and interface. For this category, even though Google's suite of apps are definitely impressive, the features that users all know and love from Microsoft apps are irreplaceable. Furthermore, someone who has Microsoft Word, for example, can easily upload that file on Google Docs to better collaborate through the web, and then export the document back to a docx file. For the app by app comparison category, Microsoft gets the point. Microsoft 365 2 Workspace 2. As things stand, the battle to determine the best office suite ends in a draw. At the end of the day, it's all a matter of a company's priorities and personal preferences. A remote business which prioritizes collaboration would find Google Workspace preferable, but an on-site team that wants to leverage powerful software would likely choose Microsoft 365. Neither one may truly convince users to choose one instead of the other, but they both truly allow teams to get things done. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.